Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. As I predicted, I'm going to make some turkey soup. And I am going to make it out of a hodgepodge of whatever and clean out my refrigerator and my freezer in making it. Now, here is my, uh, uh, this is my ground turkey. I ended up putting it in the freezer instead of the refrigerator. And, uh, so now I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to get that all sorted out. And then the next step. Well, y'all, I found quite a booty in my uh, refrigerator and my freezer. I found those carrots that I ground up yesterday, and I'm going to go ahead and use them. I found some pieces of uh, cauliflower. I found some frozen cabbage. I found a half a can of tomato sauce. I found some eggs. I found some uh, mushrooms and, of course, some garlic and looky, looky, I think I'm going to use the rest of those uh, dumplings. So, let me get everything prepped for my pot here and we'll see how things work. That's looking good there. That's looking real good. I think... Uh, well, I think I'm just going to add everything and see how full my pot is. Well, y'all, I had to bring out the big guns. That pot wasn't big enough, so I had to uh, move to my stew pot here. And now all I got left is to add the garlic and some mushrooms. And I'm not going to add those eggs until the very end. But here goes my tomato sauce. So let me swoosh some water in that can and next step. I decided against the mushrooms. I've got plenty in there, and I'm going to add, uh, probably add some more stuff, and I think I'm going to save that for my hamburgers later on tonight. Looking good, y'all. I added some water, and now I'm going to add some of my Orrington Farms beef broth base. Yeah, I know it's turkey, but... So what? Oh, yesy, yesy, yesy. Looking good. So, we're going to put this on to a uh, boil. And when it starts boiling, wait and see what I'm putting in next. Okay, y'all, we got a boil going here. So now for the extra goodies I'm adding in. I'm going to add some mung beans. And y'all, if you've never tried mung beans before, you don't know what you're missing. They are fabulous in soups. Or just as that. I got some quick barley here. Uh, after I bought this, I found some pearl, ba pearl barley, which I prefer. I'm going to add some brown rice. Some plain old brown rice. And I'm going to add some, oops, I'm going to add some yellow lentils. And I'm going to add some plain lentils. And I got that all right here. So it's going into the soup right now. Ooh, sorry about that. So let's get that stirred up. Goodness, yes, 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 sirree, Bob. We're making us a good bucket soup here. Ooh, all that good stuff in there. So now I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes to let some of those flavors kind of meld together. And then we're going to check it for spices. Okay, y'all, let's take a looky look. It's a little hot. Whoa. 
Okay. Now. Oh my. Goodness, goodness. Let me take a little sip here. Guess I should use a tasting spoon, but what the heck. Oh, that's good. But we definitely need to pump it up. We added all that extra ingredients. So let's get out some stuff and give this soup what it needs. Okay, y'all, I'm going to add some more of my Orrington beef. I am going to add some paprika. It's what I keep in the freezer. I'm going to add some turmeric. And I'm going to add some pepper. So here we go. Okay, I am hesitant to add salt because that Orrington beef has salt in it. Well, it has sodium, not a whole lot, not like a like the Magi or the uh, um, Ox. But let's see what this give this a good stir. Oh God, I can taste it already. Hmm. Let's add some salt. Oopsie. Okay, now let's give this another 10 minutes or so, and we'll check it again for spices. And remember, we're going to do those uh, um, dumplings in there, so that's going to be even longer for it to cook. So let's see how this flavor is developing. I don't want to add any corn, which I know that will add flavor, but I don't care for corn in soup. And I don't want to add my, any green beans because I plan on adding those uh, dumplings. So we'll be back about 15 minutes. Okay, here we go, y'all. But I just thought of something. This Orrington beef, it's two teaspoons per cup of water. Well, that's at least six cups of water, if not eight cups of water, which would mean 16, 16 teaspoons. Well, I didn't add that at all, so I'm going to add some more of this Orrington beef. I was just thinking, y'all should have reminded me. <laughs> okay. I think. Let me give it a good taste again. Oh, yeah, y'all. Much improved. But. I'm still going to add some salt, and I'm going to add a wee more pep bit of pepper. Y'all, I put a lot of stuff in there. So let's give it one more try. Oh yeah, perfect. So now, let me get out them dumplings. Okay, now. These dumplings, I slipped since I used them last. I had to read the instructions again. They're made for chicken, but I'm going to add it to that. It's turkey, it's beef. So, I'm going to break up these dumplings, and I'm going to add it to that right there. Let me do this two-handed. Oh, looky, looky, y'all. Now, I broke these dumplings up pretty good. That's a cauliflower right there. I broke these dumplings up pretty good. I put it in pieces instead of leaving it uh, in thirds. See? I, I, there's a couple of big pieces in there, but not many. So, 45 minutes. Okay, y'all, moment of truth. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. That, oh, my goodness. So, let me serve up Ernie here. Uh, I decided to put the eggs in the bottom of his bowl and to put the soup over it. So, here we go. Nice and thick and hearty. And we got a little bit of, of a cool spell coming on here. And of course, you know, I got it all over everything. And Ernie's going to get him a Chinese spoon here. So let me go give this to Ernie and we'll be back. Well, y'all, you're just going to have to believe me. <laughs> Ernie's already eaten his. He's in the living room. Uh, watching TV. Here's how I made mine. I put a dollop of sour cream on top. And y'all, this is really good. So, go ahead and clean out your refrigerator. Clean out your cupboard. And make you some soup. Perfect time for it. Thanks for watching. Bye.